Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff, aka G Curse, here. It is currently 5:59 a.m. on the 7th of July, 2024. It is a very warm morning here in the city of Coastal Washington. We are in the throes of an extended heat wave here in Washington State. With that said, I'm going to show you something that is. It's pretty, pretty, prettily. I was gonna say prettily, but that's even word. That is pretty, uh, pretty shocking. Oh yeah. Apparently, our boy Phil he has blown nearly twenty five hundred dollars on a mobile game for the year so far. He has spent nearly twenty four thousand dollars. I, I I I just don't know what I can really say about that. Now, it's clear the guy is in the throes of an addiction, and I, I you know, normally I I would have a lot of compassion. You know, I don't want to see many people be in the throes of uh, addiction. Addictions destroy lives, you know. But there's at a certain point when people have tried to, you know, try to help and they literally are berated and demeaned, you know, for trying to be nice and help, that you got to basically kind of say, you know what, fine. If he's going to treat us like shit, then we, we should just constantly just kind of point out what he's doing. Because the thing is, Phil, he doesn't want anybody to acknowledge it. He wants to live... It's easier to live in... Uh, what's the best word? It's, what's the best word I can say? It's better to live in denial than it is to actually face your demons. And he just refuses. He refuses to face his demons. And there is... There is a, I don't, I'm not sure if correlation is the right word, but when, when things are not going his way, you can see it by the way he treats everyone. When the times were good, he was happy. He, once in a while he would call the, uh, viewers idiots, especially if they, you know, said stuff that he did not agree with but now he is literally just very very toxic and and you can tell that it's because of this addiction but I'm going to give you a little bit more of my thoughts at the end of this video you're here to actually hear what our boy duty has to say so uh, let's get on with it shall we <laughs> Crying emojis in the chat. Oh my lord, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video. And of course, whenever you hear White Run, it can only mean one thing. That's right. WWE Champions. Oh man. And it looks like our boy DSP has been gone for a couple weeks, but he's back in full force pulling the Mahogans. And apparently he went wild. Wild this weekend. That's right, the last two days our boy Phil has wasted a whopping $2,429 on WWE Champion. And for what exactly? Well, apparently he was going after a Zami Zayn. I'm not sure exactly who that is or what that is. But there is no way in God's green earth anyone should be spending nearly 2500 bucks on Hogan pools. Okay, see what I also what what I know will happen one of these days. It may not happen today, tomorrow, or even a year in a year. But one of these days they will stop supporting this WWE Champions game. Or Phil may actually could, you know, depending on what he does, he may do something one of these days that could actually get his 
WWE Champions account, uh, you know, banned. And you got to think that 23,000 plus, nearly 24,000 this year so far, however much in 2023, however much in 2022, however much in 2021, and so forth. All of that money, gone, gone. It's it's literally going to become like dust. This is why I strongly do not encourage anyone to uh, play mobile games, and to a lesser extent play uh, games like on the Xbox or PlayStation that are games as services, like say War Warzone. Warzone, for example. I used to, I'll be honest, I used to be fucking addicted to Warzone. Back when uh, my friend Aaron, me, me and Aaron used to play Warzone a lot, I used to, uh, I'll be honest, I used to get those season passes. But as Aaron, you know, Aaron's life continued to evolve and we, you know, he drifted away and it was just me playing that game. It kind of dawned on me that, you know, like, this stuff is not permanent. It's not permanent. If you want to have an addiction, you, it's okay to have an addiction if you can control it. But then again, I guess it wouldn't really be an addiction if you can control it. It'd be more of a hobby. But that's why I, you know, I'm, I'm an avid collector of Transformers. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm spending money on Transformers, but the thing is... There's a physical representation right here. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, so as I was saying, you know, I collect Transformers. I am an avid collector of Transformers. Here he is. I, I recently got this guy. His name is Cosmos. And what I'm trying to say is that digital stuff like this will not last. There is a chance that you know, he could get his account taken away and all that countless thousands of dollars gone. However, let's say the internet totally just tanks. It tanks and we go back to the 1970s, you know, before the rise of the internet. Yeah, we lose our internet. We lose, you know, all this awesome stuff that we take for advantage but I would still have this guy. It is better to have a hobby where you have a physical representation of what, you know, you can actually hold the stuff. And that that's why I'm, I, I, I don't feel sad for Phil because of the fact of how he treats everybody, but I feel pity. I feel pity because he knows, he knows that Ultimately, he, he, he is standing basically on a castle of sand. And it's only a matter of time until something happens in this empire that he's built. That he has spent $23,000 this year. Gone. Like I said, I feel pity. It's pity, I feel. But let's continue on. Oh, well, first, let's... The YouTube music app. No, you can uh, start a radio station with up to 30 artists. For a sweaty JPEG. It's ridiculous. Our boy Phil uh, hasn't been playing much because, of course, as you guys know, the tips have just not been there. The support has been pretty abysmal for our boy Phil. Uh, on top of the... And whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? Like I said earlier, I think I, I can't recall if it was in this video. I recorded, I did a couple pre-records of this video. But uh, I'm a perfectionist, I guess you could say. But I think I said at the beginning of this video, I can't recall, honestly. There is, I think that there is a, 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 a visible, like a, you could actually tell when Phil is having good times. And when he's having hard times, by the way, he treats his 
his viewers, his fans, his cu customers, whatever you want to call them, you know. I think there is a link to that, you know, like you can actually see it, which is fucking sad. Which is fucking sad because of the fact any normal relationship between a, a content creator and their cus customer base, viewer base, whatever you want to call it, it should always be a positive, but no. It's the opposite with this guy. This guy, Phil Burnell, he links happiness and his uh, viewer base to money. If viewer base is not, if if the viewer base is not showering him with hundred dollar tips every second, he gets upset, and it shows. And lately. It's really been showing when I see the uh, Street Fighter 6 uh, videos that our boy Duty uploads. I refuse to go to Philbert's uh, YouTube channel to watch any video. I would rather watch a Duty's, Duty Streams video or you know somebody else's video than give actually give Phil any actual, you know, recognition and I know that's kind of hypocritical because I'm going to other people to watch Phil but my, my whole logic be behind it is that ultimately I want to see him crash and burn I know that's mean I know that's mean but you do not get to have a 16 plus year career on YouTube which, you know, all those sites, and literally treat your viewers like shit. And that's what he does. That's what he does. He treats them like shit. And, and I think he it's time that he has, you know, a, a reality check. Okay, let's continue on. The fact that the Argentinian memberships have taken a toll on Phil's business and uh by the way big big shout out to my friends in Argentina wait hold on no, that's not the right one uh big shout out to my friends in Argentina for you know keeping the uh for fighting the good fight basically I would love to know how they found out about this glitch but yeah Phil he is under the uh assumption that YouTube is going to come come flying in like some winged avenge, avenging angel and straight you know stop this Argentina glitch or loophole. I prefer the term loophole. And, and they may, but the thing is, the thing is, Phil has in his head that there's going to be a different outcome and it's not going to be the outcome he's hoping for what he's hoping for is that YouTube is going to come in stop this loophole and then he's still going to get these you know mega su uh, subscriber bombs but it's going to be in normal currency normal you know methods like say America so whatever that is so, uh, for example, I don't know how much a fucking paid subscription is. I don't do that. You know, I don't do that. So let's say a paid subscription is... Do I have... You know, I, yeah, I can do it this way, I guess. Let's see here. How much is a paid subscription on YouTube? I'm not even sure if that's the right. Uh, YouTube hours trial premium... See, I'm not sure if this is the same thing, though, for, uh, you know, for, like, what a you know, like, if you were to subscribe to Phil Burton, like, to, uh, oh, membership, I think, channel membership. Maybe it's a channel membership? How much is a channel ship on YouTube? Uh, let's see. Channel memberships. 
I wish it would just literally give me the price, you know, like, and you know that, you know that you ask a pretty hard, okay, so, uh, memberships have a starting price of, okay, so let, let, let's just say four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Okay, so let's just say that. Here, let me. There. So it looks like it could be four ninety nine. Oh, crap. Well, four ninety nine per month, with a maximum tier of forty nine nine. Oh my God, people would actually pay that much. Wow. But anyway. So the way I think Phil sees it is that. YouTube's going to come in like an avenging angel, like B.A. Brackus at, towards the end of an episode of A-Team, and they're going to clean house, and then the uh, detractors or the trolls or whatever, you, you know, you prefer them to be known as. Me, I call them, me, I call them detractors. The detractors are just going to be like, oh, damn, Phil and YouTube just beat us. They beat us. They, 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 they just totally... They they out they outmaneuvered us, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we might as well start giving Phil Burnell a fifty sub, a fifty membership bomb or whatever they're called, at four ninety nine each. And Phil was like, "Yeah, big money's coming in." No, it's not going to happen like that. It's not going to happen like that. What's actually going to happen is that if YouTube does come in, in like an avenging angel. Like fucking Bruce Willis in Die Hard, and they're like, you know, we're we're closing this loophole. The subs will be like, the the uh, the tractors will be like, fine, okay, we're done here. So instead of all that little bit of change that Phil would be getting from these Argentina bombs, he's not going to get anything. Phil would have literally once again put himself into a box. So not only is he not going to get that money that he would have got from the Argentina as small as it is, he would also be getting less less uh, memberships, and which I'm pretty sure could affect uh, his stream visibility even more. You know, this is not going to end the way for Phil that he hopes it's going to end. But the fact is, it's he is in the throw of this addiction and it's blinding him okay let's continue on and he actually admitted it today during his podcast uh some of that was more he was begging uh but he did speak the actual truth he said yeah the no one can get a membership because the gifted memberships have just been bombing on his channel non-stop and i believe i counted the last week and a half the Argentinian memberships have dropped. The Argentinian detractors have dropped nearly 1,100 memberships on Phil's channel, which, you know, that's that's hard to recover from, especially from someone like Phil, who relies on that income to maintain the business. So yeah, he he is just. And this goes back to what I originally said. Yeah, he may only be getting change from these Argentina bombs. But once that loophole's closed, do you think that a detractor, hopefully if they're smart enough, you think a detractor's going to spend four ninety nine times 50 on Phil? No. No, they're not. Hopefully they wouldn't. I even, even if I wanted to, which I never would, I would not give him that much money. He is not worth that much money. He, especially to only be yelled at? Nah, nah. No, why pay to be yelled at, you know? No. He's wailing out. Uh, I guess he, he can't fight that urge, and he needed this JPEG so badly. Uh, and big ups to TJ Gamebox, who reports this out, of course, out on the Twitterverse. Uh, he is our go-to when it comes to WWE Champions. And yeah, he reported out, actually, he reported out yesterday that Phil had spent... Um, about fourteen hundred bucks, um, two grand if he actually didn't get um, uh, that Sammy character. But it looks like he managed the home end, and it looks like yeah, it looks like Phil did waste about twenty five hundred bucks because he did manage to get first place. Uh, so I know that's going to be a huge achievement for our boy Phil. He's going to 
probably print this out or make this his uh his screenshot his screen snap the thing is you know that he would love because i do all the time especially with my collection right here cosmos love this guy it's natural for any person who has a hobby to want to show off their hobby to, to, to kind of brag about their hobby look at this you know this is mine you know and everything phil can't even do that with this he cannot you know that he would love to be able to go you know onto youtube today and go hey guys look at me i got sammy zane i got sammy zane this is the best hobby ever i i look at this you know and he cannot he cannot because the minute that he would even show that Sami Zayn, that proof that he has Sami Zayn, that he won this, this, uh, this contest, what, this, 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 this event, the minute that he would do that, he would be eviscerated on YouTube, on, on the internet, basically because of the fact he constantly says he needs money for the business. He needs money for the business. He needs money for the bills. He needs money basically to survive. And if he was to do this, they would tear him apart. It would be that scene from uh, Dawn, uh, no, Day of the Dead. The original Day of the Dead, none of those shitty remakes. The the original Day of the Dead where that the arm, the captain of the army, the group of army soldiers... When he gets like literally forced down onto the floor by the zombies. And they're literally tearing him apart. Yeah, it's Sunday morning. Get that image in your head. They're literally tearing him apart. That is what would happen to Phil. So he can't, he can't even... He cannot even... Show how much he enjoys this hobby. Because of the fact that he has been so toxic. So manipulative so I would I could say evil to everybody in you know in you know that that he gets his money from this could have all been avoided if he was simply a nicer person if he was a nicer person like like really a nice person I I, I like to think that you know, there are alternate universes where the alternate universes, that, that Phil Burnell is a nice guy. Pro possibly on the same level of uh, some, like, I, I don't know the guy, but say like Mr. Beast. Because Phil always throws out that name, Mr. Beast. He could have been on the same level as Mr. Beast in the alternate universe. He could possibly be a donator to millions of dollars of charities in alternate universe. But for some reason... This universe, we got this Phil Burnell. If the if you know if Phil was a very nice guy, who 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 you know endeared himself to everybody, who made people you know just want to give him money, not not literally be coerced and forced into giving money. If he actually came out and said, you know, guys, I'm sorry. You know, it's nothing you guys did. Nothing you guys did. But I have to be honest. I, I have an addiction to this game. And then he would show everybody. I have an addiction to this game. I cannot fight it. I cannot stop. If, you know, if he was a nice guy and he actually did something like that, I am pretty sure that everybody would rally behind him. Because, like I said, if this was in an alternate universe, they would want to see Phil kick this hab kick this addiction but no th the phil we have he treats everybody like shit hell i saw a video recently where he said that he was not going to be toxic anymore to the fellow people he plays street fighter against and look at how he treats those people look at it look at it it's not and and his his continual bitching and moaning is tied to the fact that he has basically hit rock bottom. 
but he does not want to admit it because he knows that if he admitted it, two things would happen. The people would tear him apart. He would he would basically become a pride. Nobody would pay any attention to him. His YouTube career would be, you know, basically the last bastion he has would be gone. It would be gone. And number two, it would force him to literally have to go outside and get a normal job. So basically, he's he worked himself into a corner. He 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 doesn't know what to do. Well, we all know what he has to do. He has to come out and admit it and you know get help. But he will not do that because in his mind, Phil is always right. Let's continue. On. Snapshot his uh, his uh, what's it called his um. His that, phone screen snapshot for that. That month. desktop dude, desktop. Because, uh, he has nothing else meaningful going on in his life. I mean, you know, Phil, he loves to uh, hype up these achievements. And since he really has nothing else going on, uh, this, I guess, would be the number one achievement. So, yeah, uh, he did manage to get first place. Uh, he beat out Wolverine Ninja and Trey33, uh, three, two other dents. Who have no lives uh, that are just wailing out non-stop on this stupid game and for what for sweaty fucking JPEG for sweaty JPEGs um, apparently there was some fundraiser I, I'm, I'm not fully sure it makes no sense to me when people are spending this kind of money and wailing out like they do on this stupid game it just makes no fucking it's my opinion, now take it for whatever you want, it's my opinion, I think that these types of games, these mobile games, these games that require you to just constantly give money, 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 instead of actually working and basically spend, dedicating hard, your hard-earned time, that these type of games actually are a breeding pit for people with addictive personalities. And, um, yeah, it looks like Phil just couldn't control himself, and uh, he, he wailed out. He definitely wailed out. So, uh, yeah, if you look at what he spent total so far for 2024, it's pretty eye-pop. It's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. So, uh, as you can see, he the last two days, he uh, spent $2,429. For a grand total so far of 2024. Now the thing is. I already said how much he spent at the beginning of this video. I said how, how much he already spent. So that's not really why I'm kind of like. You know just kind of bummed. I'm kind of bummed now. Because not only because he spent nearly $2,500. But the fact is. That that money could have been used for something that he really wanted. He, how often does he talk about, you know, I would you know, I would want a new computer. Well, he's going to basically co-opt the wife's computer. I I need to get my house fixed up. I I've never been able to take the wife on a honeymoon. $2500 down the fucking drain. Down the drain. It's gone. Never be seen from again. This, at least I have physical representation. I can hold this. I can hold this. If the internet crashes, it's all gone. He has nothing to show for his time and dedication to this, to this, to this money trap, money pit, basically. And the thing is, the we don't know what goes on behind the closed doors of that house. But you have to think that Cat, you know, if she, you know, hopefully she's as, you know, as smart as he makes her out to sound. You know, she should look at him and goes, honey, when are we going to have that honeymoon that you promised? It's been what, like two, three years? I can't recall when, I can't recall when she came into the picture. You know, when is this honeymoon you promised me? Oh, well, soon, honey. I I have work, and we, we just don't have the money right now. Twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five. 
Honey, when are you going to get the house fixed? I don't have the money right now. I, I, I can't. We don't. I have to work hard to get the money to fix the house. $23,532. That could have bought a new computer. A, a, probably a monster of a computer. It could have helped with the house repairs. It could have been. It could have taken them out on a honeymoon. Twenty three thousand five hundred and thirty two dollars on this mobile game. And then, of course, you know, I, I finally caught up on the tip calculation and everything. If you look at his total tips for 2024, 25,766. Just a coincidence, just a random, random coincidence. That if you would actually take away the PayPal fees and the transaction fees for PayPal, it would almost identically match, identically match the 23,532 that he spent. On WWE Champion. It's just. Just another coincidence. It's nothing to see. It, it's just baffling. It's baffling to think that he's. I, I gotta be honest. I love this music. That Duty adds to this video. It, 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 it's really good. At really just kind of hitting home. Th you know. The, 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 the downward spiral. That Phil is in right now. And the thing is, we haven't hit rock bottom yet. When it, he's hit rock bottom, personally, he's hit rock bottom. He he's wasted twenty three thousand five hundred thirty two dollars this year so far, countless thousands in the years before. He cannot get out of this, this addiction, but he will he will publicly hit rock bottom when he if he finally snaps and he takes it out on everybody on YouTube. That, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. He's going. To, he's going to have that wings moment when wings literally just started going off the rails. I think it was like what late twenty tens when he did a whole look here, look listen, and then he started throwing controllers and everything. We will know that Phil has hit rock bottom when that happens. Spent every single dollar that he got in tip money. On this game it just it it just astounds me it does and I mean I, I know I've said this I mean how many videos have I made this year on this stupid WWE champions how many and each time I keep it I, I'm every time I'm fab fabric I mean excuse me I'm, I, I can't even speak here but look at that look at that 24 29 nearly twenty five hundred dollar that's the most he spent in a given session all year that's another thing too that i wanted to point out uh previous to that the most he had spent was um two thousand ninety five dollars and that was back in may uh for the rock final boss so basically less than two full months later basically we're just seeing, and and it's going to lead to that. Basically, it's going to lead to that public, public, self destruction. Two thousand. I can't read it really that well. It looks like two thousand ninety five dollars in May. Uh, May twenty four for twenty four twenty nine in July so far. It's 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 only going to get worse. We may see lulls. You know, let, let, let's look at it like a graph. He's going up, going up. We may see a lull where it goes down just slightly, but it, it's the only way it's only going to keep going up. And and normally in a business that would be good. That means profits. But for this, it's not. We are literally watching him just basically go further and further into debt. He is milking his viewers to the point that they cannot sustain this that that's why 
nowadays we are seeing videos with, with the exception of like a couple like Stardew Valley, I think that's what it's called, and Street Fighter. He's not getting that much anymore. He has literally chased away 99% of the people who actually wanted to see this guy survive. Or not survive, but succeed. It, it looks like he goes on these two-day benders where he just wails out and goes crazy. And he spends every waking, every minute that he can. So you know while he's streaming, he's playing. Or these bathroom breaks that Phil loves to talk about. You know, these three or four bathroom breaks every hour. You know? Now, I will go on record and say I, was poss I could be possibly wrong. Hey, I can admit when I'm wrong. I originally was thinking that every time he took these PP pee -pee breaks... That he was actually calling, sending out a, a, a signal to the whales, basically. But our boy Duty here believes that he's using these pee pee breaks to actually continue. He doesn't actually go to the bathroom, and you're gonna hear that pretty quickly. That he instead that when he is off camera, he's actually possibly just in the same room, just away from the camera, and he's pl he's he's you know he's on his cell phone, and he's like, okay, God, go. Oh my god, I got fucking Sammy say yes, yes. Oh my god, this is so fucking awesome. And then it hits him. I, I can't show this to anyone. I can't show this to anyone. Because I've treated everybody so fucking poorly that if I was to go, hey guys, hey guys, I got Sammy Saint. Look, look, look. They would literally be those zombies on the la uh, Last of Us. Not the Last of Us. Uh, the Walking Dead. Sorry, the just 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 tearing him apart. You know, like you see, like skin just being torn off the face and everything. That's what would happen. The only person he could literally show that he got Sami Zayn would be Cat, and she could probably fucking care less at this point. No. You know he's going in and pulling the Hogan's. He is. And then this whole, oh, I'm, I'm taking a break between streams to have dinner. No. Nope. He, he's sitting in that room playing this fucking game. And then, you know, right after he's done streaming at whatever, midnight, or I guess his time it would be 9, 45, 10 o'clock, he's doing nothing but just probably playing this game for like another four or five hours straight before he goes to bed. And then, of course... Fat Cat's probably like, what's going on? What are you doing? And of course he's saying, oh, I'm just so busy. I have so much to do. I have to do this. He's going to use the excuse of, oh, uh, I need to check all of the videos in the playlist for the React content. Because somebody might put some prawn in there. So I got to spend another two hours doing that tonight. And that's why I'm late. When he's actually just playing this game. That's all he's doing. Because when you watch the React content, you look at the playlist, he's... He's skimming each of the videos because you know he didn't actually look at the playlist the night before. He was probably playing this goddamn mobile game. Just despicable. Despicable, dude. I, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, I mean, uh, I guess big ups. I do have to admit, I love it up here. I know you can't really, see, you can't see my mouse cursor, but on the first uh, column, column number one that goes across, it actually says "Sweaty JPEG." <laughs> I, I, you know, I'll be honest. I thought that was just something that you know the detractors were just saying, but now I, I think I understand where it finally came from. <laughs> Sweaty JPEG. Oh my god. Ugh. to the dents for funding this all of his new dents jordan darren uh you know many of these are probably oic socks anyway all of you idiots that keep throwing cash his way this is what he's spending it on he's spending it on mobile games so big ups to you at least one minute man had enough common sense to finally wake up and stop funding this nonsense but you eat idiots uh i, I guess are waiting for phil to yell at you to call you a fucking moron or an idiot you know give you the dutch brothers treatment i don't know i don't care anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out okay so that is basically it so 
Yeah. 23,532 dollars and we are just over the halfway mark of this year. Two thousand just nearly two thousand five hundred dollars for this month so far. Addiction is a bitch, ladies and gentlemen. Addiction is a bitch. Now, in a in a comment I read on one of the duties uh Street Fighter videos, somebody actually mentioned that you know Phil needs an intervention. Actually, let me see if I can find that, and I will be right back. Okay, I can't find it. Uh, God, it was, it was in one of the duty uh, streams uh, videos. It could be just that the, these videos get a lot of comments, and it could be that the initial comment that I was replying to could have been just moved down, and I just can't find it. But basically, the person basically said that, you know, it sounds like this guy needs an uh, intervention. And while I would agree, the problem is that everybody that Phil had, you know, could have had, you know, help do an intervention. An intervention only works when you have extremely, you know, people who want to see Phil get better. That's the only way an invent intervention really works. You got to have people there who wants to see Phil get better and turn his life around but let's let, let's look at you know let, let's look at this phil has literally chased away everybody he has literally chased away everybody who would have been able to been a good you know influence to help him with the intervention john rambo gone oh god uh the people that uh oh howard gone anybody he could have you know if if he was a nice person the people in uh, uh, the fighting game community i refuse to think that they are the way that he makes them out to be oh we treat everybody like shit it was just the way that it was no it wasn't he treated people like shit because that's how phil burnell actually is the people in the fgc could have possibly helped him if he treated them nicely the viewers, they could have uh, helped him with the intervention. He chased them off. There is nobody left. He has nobody who really wants to see him get better. So let's look at let's look at the pool of you know people that could you know do this intervention. You have the trolls. Now, to me, I view trolls and detractors as two different pe two different groups. To me. A troll it are the fucking pieces of shit that keeps this train wreck going. When they know the best course of action is to literally just not to give him any money. Just basically put this fucking miserable dog out of its misery. Those are the trolls. The detractors do not like Phil Burnell. And they're actually smart enough to like, I'm not going to give this piece of shit any money. We'll go, we'll go and have our laughs on a duty stream video or on Raw Phil or Raw DSP or whatever it's called. So basically, you would have the trolls in this intervention and they would literally just roast him. They, they would not do anything constructive to actually help him. You then have the wheelchairs... Uh, or the dents, or whatever you want to call them, the whales, basically, who will literally just, you know, just kind of feed into him, you know, give him what he wants. That would not actually give him constructive criticism and offer him real help. They, they're, they're too far gone. They're too far gone. Them giving this guy countless th thousands of dollars is proof that they are, they're as far gone as Phil Burnell is. At this point, it's like a parasitic relationship with Phil and these goddamn whales. So they'll be like, oh no, Phil, you have nothing wrong with you. You have nothing wrong with you. You have the trolls in this intervention. Ha <laughs> ha piece of shit. <laughs> just, just literally laughing at him. And then you have the wife 
and his parents. I'm pretty sure Kat could fucking care less about this guy at this point. She probably she probably has already realized that she left whoever it was, the Subaru guy, I think that's what he was known as, she left Subaru guy for a guy who literally stays in his pajamas 99% of the time. And then finally you have Phil's parents who would probably just uh, acquiesce to any of his whims. Philip, we're going to be doing this intervention. We want to get better. You get better. Oh, I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Philip. There is literally nobody here to literally to 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 do an actual intervention with this guy. Everybody that actually cared for this guy is gone. They're gone. They have moved on to other streamers, to other content creators to actually appreciate them. So like I said, you have trolls that would just literally kind of ridicule him when he's really needing help. You have the whales that would tell him, oh, you're doing nothing wrong. You have Cat, who's probably, you know, said that she'd attend this intervention, but actually probably getting it, getting some uh, attention from other sources. And then you have the parents who would be like, okay, Philip, you can do whatever you want. Nobody here. Nobody here. Phil can only help himself. At this point, like I said, Philip, it, the only person that can help Philip at this point is him is himself. But it's going to be one hell. I think it's going to be one hell of a ride for the next couple years, because I think we are starting to see, you know, see that that the, the breakdown that he's about to have. We're starting to see it because of the fact. Uh, I saw him uh, criticize a person who only gave him one dollar recently. He, uh, I can't recall. It was, it was from a Duty Streams video, but a person donated one dollar, and he's like, "Hey guys, all I've gotten this uh, so far this stream is one dollar. I'd like to get more." And then somebody actually gave him five dollars because they were fucking guilted into it. And what does Phil do? He he kind of he literally kind of insults the person who actually gave him the dollar or dollar 25 or whatever the fuck it was. So like I said, we are on we're on the highway to hell basically and I think for the that last stretch of the ride it's going to be fucking awesome.